Hello everybody, welcome to the quarter-final match of the Bubble 3 Chalice between Hiramazio and Andri. Um, we've got Hancock in the booth, hello. Hello. <laughs> and, uh, they had to, so this was on the Procedimiento Illegal um, Law, site, yes. uh, no, Twitch I channel, give in. and Until they had, and thank you very much, Julian, staying fantastic for four defend. glorious months. One who will be of a pregnancy. Um, so they had the face cams of Hiramizio and Andri on this pitch. That's why we've got two squares and there's no dice log. Um, this is actually perfect TV for Hiru, isn't it? Because he's three... Oh, God, I can't... Ma quick maths. Three, eight, five down. So he gets he gets uh, Morg exactly. <laughs> Nearly. Yeah, it's, be happy about it. He's super effective against dwarves as well, right? He yeah. can take up a lot of uh, actions off him. Yeah, yeah, so amazing, and like that, that's the thing. Like, you know, I, I remember saying like how good Morg was against Orcs, and then someone's like, "Well, he's not that good because they're nine. It's like it's not just about slaughtering the team, is it? Like, you know, yeah, taking actions sixes. away in it. Yeah, string six is uh, is a really good, really nice. So this, seeing as this is a dwarf mirror, <laughs> we're gonna try and go. Let's try one and a half speed at first and see how that works, and we we might up it to, to two speed. <laughs> I can imagine there's a lot of basing and blocking. Uh, <laughs> just maybe. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's not that it's it's going to be boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> but um, you know, to be fair, Blood Bowl Three is clunky at the best of times, so maybe having maybe having it on one and a half speeds could be the way to go for all replays. Oh yeah. Mm. So wait, oh no, 320 is the cash in the, uh, the cash. So this is uh, streamed from Andri's point of view. Abri tro poco imparcial. I presume that's bias, right? Yes. Maestro chef halfling, love it. Yes, they are both Spanish there. Uh, Andri and Hiramazil were both on the Blitz Pit team that won Blitz Pit teams um, with he who shall not be named. <laughs> 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 um, you know, so obviously both very good. Andre won the World Cup in Blood Bowl one, so you know he's got he's got that. And uh, Hiru might have won Chalice. I don't know. Yeah, I think Hiru's won Chalice. Uh, might have been under a different moniker, but he's definitely won Chalice. I think. Mm, yeah, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of monikers. And oh, actually, in the first round, he was Sexador Diorcos, wasn't he? And now he's on Hiru's account, so he's. He's he's just randomly he's, even now he's got alts in the same competition. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes having different names. And yes, he's taken Morg, as you can see there. So surprisingly enough, and I'm, I'm already tempted to go double speed as they're taking forty <laughs> seconds to choose whether to kick or receive. <laughs> We're up to double speed. Let's go. Good, thank God. Um, <laughs> so these guys have some guard. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Andre's already like a small TV team, isn't he? Like he's already low TV, yeah. and uh, he hasn't got too much. Yeah, bunch of guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guard, and no might. No one might. Two mighty blow. Two mighty but blow. But I'd say Andre's got the kill skill and. Uh, uh, Hero definitely hasn't the old sneaky get DP. Sneaky get DP, yep. Yep, that could be the crucial key factor in this match. Mind, to be fair, <laughs> Hero has Morgan Thorg and he is the kill skill. <laughs> yeah, he is the kill skill, to be fair. And he's got six guards still, and he's got a... Uh, what, a couple of mighty blows? Three mighty blows, so a lot more kill. Hero's team's a lot better, actually, isn't it, with Morgan? Apart from the, the sneaky get DP, as you say. Yeah, it's the only it's the only real difference to be honest, because like the dodge is not going to make any difference. <laughs> no, unlike un very unlikely, yeah. Um, and he's got two right, and the ball carrier's got one as well on offense. So, but yeah, there's there's so much tackle, obviously. Um, it, it can it can help. Yeah, I guess you can try and stick the dodger on Morg. Oh yeah, maybe actually. Yeah, because you, you want to mitigate Morg somehow, and it's not easy at all. <laughs> no, but I have to trade, trade the, the blotch 
guard piece for Morg any day. Yeah, yeah. If you if you can, so, I mean, but obviously he'll be trying to counter that as well, wouldn't he? You would you would think. I mean, he should be trying to counter it. <laughs> hello, Lod. Hello, Gadernik. Oh, I shouldn't have said hello to Gadernik, should I? <laughs> I guess he's an M I guess he's a VIP. <laughs> right. Oh this is great, isn't it? Double speed is is actually great. It's about right actually to be honest. Yeah. This is quite reasonable. I <laughs> I mean the animations look a bit funky. <laughs> <laughs> But in terms of like the speed of the game and readability, it seems fine. Oh my god, the uh, <laughs> 3D push is not what you need. What's it? What's it for? Two successes on three dice? Is it seventy percent? Uh, th three dice, two successes. I don't know what you mean. Oh, oh yeah, three, two successes. I see what you mean. Right, God, sorry. Uh, so it's fifty-five, isn't it? And then you get an extra third. So. What's that? Forty-five, fifteen. So yeah, seventy. Yeah. Yep. Diced. Didn't even get a pal. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's not that. It's not that good odds, is it? That's the thing. But I mean, you've got to get three Ds with Morg. Like you just have to, right? Uh, You'd be stupid not to. Theo. Yeah, he's too powerful. Mighty blow plus two is insane. Um. <laughs> and it's super easy to get the three dices. Yes. Lesionado. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. Banged out straight away. Instant, yeah. Are we going to lose Del Apotecario? No. <laughs> was that a serious injury Apo, or what was that then? No, he didn't use the Apo. Oh, right, okay. Oh, wait, no, maybe he did. Yeah, there's no Apo sign. Oh, maybe, maybe they've cut off the edge of the screen. There's no Apo there, though, is there? Maybe he never had an Apo. He did Apple and it failed. Okay, thanks. Right. We, we can't see a we can't see the dice log because of the face cam, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Beautiful face cams. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, I don't know. I thought it was better to not have the face cams on, like on the Twitch scene. No, yeah, hundred percent. Like, it's distracting, isn't it? Because you've got no interaction with them, and they're probably if they are speaking, they, they won't be speaking English, which the majority of your audience will probably be. Yes, but you, you could lip read Spanish if we had them on. <laughs> if you could lip read double speed. If you could yeah, lip read double you. speed app, <laughs> double speed Spanish, you could lip read them, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, and you've also got to reinforce Morg a little bit as well, haven't you? The problem is now with him, like, it's kind of good having him on multiple people, but obviously having him on multiple people makes the 3Ds much harder. Yeah, so it turns from like your your three D block into just a, a piece that's trading, which is is okay, but not ideal when you want to. He's your form of attrition in the match when your opponent's got Mike Blow and Sneaky Gear. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Matt. Hey, up, Matt. King Jimmy, the greatest wrestler of all time. <laughs> There's no defensive on these things. We've seen defensive be very impactful in Bash Mirrors. Obviously, these are both low TV teams, so wouldn't have it. But um, that's interesting, and it's something that you probably wouldn't wouldn't see in like the proper rules with uh, with redrafts. But these two teams are definitely teams you'll see in redrafts. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. This is why I don't really get the 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 complaints about redrafting, right? Because this is what you have to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, redrafting will um, will be a lot better than this unlimited ceiling, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean it, it's 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 glorious. It's interesting. No, it's picky poison, isn't it? At the end of the day, like this. Until I'm victorious, oh, wow, so Morg Falcon. I will oh. defend. Oh. I will defend. Oh. And then run away. It's so good. It's literally so good, isn't it? Steve? It's it's very very strong. Yeah, I love it. And uh, wow, good day, Nick. Subscribe at tier one. Welcome, welcome to being acknowledged in chat. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much. <laughs> Staying fantastic for 15 glorious months. I love this idea of only acknowledging subs. Oh my god, we've got good day, Nick shitting store now. It's, it's, it's an immortal combination. <laughs> 
that's incredible. Um, this is this is actually great, isn't it? This double speed. It's it's not it's not bad at all, is it? No, it's not. It's it's about right. If I'm honest, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad it took dwarves versus dwarves to uh, <laughs> to force this on us. <laughs> <laughs> you may, maybe wouldn't get away with it with like a, a more complicated team matchup like elf on elf or something or elf on scaven or whatever because yeah. you want to sit there and think about what they, they might be doing or thinking yeah <laughs> with dwarves you just know it's just yeah base bang base bang <laughs> yeah yeah just maximise 2D's pretty much isn't it there'll be a little bit of positioning you know like at the end of the day What's he called? Who's on defence? Andrew's on defence here. He's having to, like, you know, hold the centre. I think hold the centre is the main thing against dwarves on defence. As long as you hold the centre, it, it, you know, it, it's hard for them, right? If they can't, if they can't yeah. penetrate the centre, they have to pick a sideline. And then, because they're so slow, it's hard for them to switch sides. There's no, like, lizard man They'll have to get right? squished down one side, won't they? Yeah, exactly. And then they, you squish them down a side, and then you've got half a chance of stopping them. And obviously, if you've got a troll slayer, you might even get a surf or two. I think too many, uh, too many of um, Hiru's team out on the left here. Is it all right? Uh, is it Andre on offense or defense? Andre's on defense. Yeah, I don't like these four. The position of these four dwarfs on the left, if I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. But it's good that it's good that this guy is up shit creek, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's leaving. He's leaving a thing, and I guess it's okay if, like, if he abandons Morg, that's kind of a win for you, isn't it? Oh my God, he's got the armor break. <laughs> oh shit! Only a stun. Foul to come there. Yeah, I think he's still gonna foul him. Got it. It's just too good a piece. Right? Yeah, three assists because of guard. Buffing guard was very essential. <laughs> yeah, and he did. It was uh, quite a weak skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glorious. Can I think I, I uh, I'd probably take my chances here and just try and squish down the right. Mm. Yeah, it's his turn four. It's hard though, isn't it? It's hard to get things out in front, I think. Yeah, but he moved to stand firm, chap, so... Mm. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. This is just going to where Andre's stronger, isn't it, really? But... It is, but he, well, it's also where he's stronger if more gets up, isn't it? So it's stunned, though, isn't he? So you're going to have to... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. There's going to be another foul coming. Yeah. It's going to get messy. I think I, I I might have abandoned Morgan. Tried for down the side. Yeah. Or at least, you know, the right-hand side of the mid, as it were. Just try and get some leeway. Oh, how wow, he's going back. Yeah, yeah. Like, just swing to, like, here with a ball, maybe. And then, like, a few things out in front. Make him spread yeah. out. And then maybe try and get... Because you've still got time on turn five to maybe get back. Because if you make him spread out as well, more becomes more effective, right? In terms of getting his blitz and, and making space on the pitch. Yeah. Because whereas if, it were, if we're all together around a, having a Barney, <laughs> then um, Morg's... Morg's just going to get guarded up and hit and fouled quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's funny that the, the, what what I've noticed with, uh, you know, obviously I had, I'd never really played Blood Bowl uh, 2020 and obviously not Blood Bowl 3 because it's no one had played Blood Bowl 3 and uh, <laughs> hardly anyone's playing Blood Bowl 3 now. But, uh, <laughs> but nobody had ever played Blood Bowl 3 until recently. Um, what's interesting is just like how big a deal the, the guard buff for fouls is, right? Because uh, it's massive, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do get these big these big rooks that before you know you wouldn't dream of fouling anybody. Uh, there'd, there'd be no assists. It literally it's changed from like no assists to four assists and stuff. Like it, it's crazy how 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 impactful yeah. it is. And it allows you to stay like constantly active in the fight with all your guard and everything, whilst allowing you to have like a high removal percentage with the fouls. Yeah, like like I can't, I'll pause. That's the thing about the twos. You've got to pause here. But like before that hit, if this guy's here, these two aren't assisting, are they? And then, yeah. So this would be a one assist foul that you couldn't dream of doing. But now it's a three assist foul, and it makes a world of difference, doesn't it? Like it's amazing yeah, it's the difference it makes. Big assist on Morg. Nothing. Nothing. Will be having quite got quite a few decent fouls on him, but nothing I'm doing at all. Yeah. Mm. 
So now, what do you, I mean, now he can't switch, right? Like that's the thing no, you want. You want to get there, and he's he's as you said, yeah, he reinforced where Andre was strongest. Now Andre can pretty much forget about this side of the field. Yeah, because you can't get any players around to protect it at all. Mm. He somehow got all of his players in between Andre's. There's three. There's even three <laughs> holding the sideline. He's just got everything in the middle. But you know, maybe he can use that to to push out. You know, if he just puts the ball like here somehow. I don't know what he does with the ball. He's he's in a lot of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, gaming Keith, a lot of people who uh, who you know are just giving up on Blood Bowl three and Blood Bowl in general. Yeah, I'm I'm literally playing. If it's got that bad, I'm playing football now. So. Mm. Not to besmirch fumble. Fumble's amazing, by the way. Yes, yeah. Functionally, fumble's amazing. It's, yeah, it, yeah. It, the sad thing is with the unscalability, it just means it hurts my eyes with like with the monitor and stuff. Which yeah, is, is, that's I got my I'm my big old schnoz pushed up against the monitor constantly. <laughs> yeah, so it's like it's not it's not a mark against fumble. It's just like, I I realise that's my problem. But of course, if they had a, a scaling client. Then uh, it would be amazing. <laughs> we could have a big. Uh, so this is a replay, yeah, I'll put on. This is a restreaming of Procedimiento Illegal because there is no, uh, there is no Cabal Vision. There's no way to watch replays or live games at all in Blood Bowl Three. So we're having to, um, we're having to do this uh, like a ghetto replay. Big foul now. Whoa. Yeah, and look, three assists because of the guard buff. <laughs> Four even. Muerte! <laughs> Muerte! <laughs> well, I mean, there, there were six assists, but three of them were, were, were due yeah, to yeah, the guard yeah, buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is, I mean, don't say it's over. <laughs> That's pretty over, to be fair. But yeah, yeah, he was already holding his own. Um, with that and yeah to me yeah that's uh, that's almost all desperation uh bullets well dash down the front now i guess yep <laughs> yeah work day work day work day <laughs> <laughs> chuckle in spanish and there you go <laughs> It's a much more enjoyable slash like visceral language, right? Yeah. <laughs> Murted compared to dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being bamboozled the first time I saw that. I don't hate this. It's nice. Yeah, this is good, isn't it? A nice little yeah. desperation move. That's about as good as he's gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. Andre, Andre enjoyed that. <laughs> 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 the, the reactions on double speed are incredible. <laughs> to be fair, the, you actually are missing out on the face cams because, <laughs> because people reacting at double speed is pretty funny. <laughs> I like how Hero's little like little banner gets in the way of his entire face. <laughs> Like yes. everything else is like visible, his shoulders, arm, body, he's fine. His face, you have no idea what's going on. There's this little banner in the way. It's <laughs> great, yeah. Actually great. Oh dear. He should have rolled better with Morgan, you know, maybe he could have tried to protect him. It's really hard though, because that's the thing, you know, like that he got those extra three assists because of the guard the guard buff and uh Normally, he would have been quite protected, wouldn't he? He would have been protected enough without the guard buff. Um, but yeah, maybe he should have, uh, as Hancock said, spread the field more or protect him more. And I guess you, it's hard to protect him. In, like You can't protect him in the, in the middle of the field, can you? Like in, in a big scrum like that, you just can't protect him. But he's getting the score, yeah. The, he's getting the score, isn't he, on turn seven? Not sure if I'd rather go into the second half of the score without Morg than without a score with more to us. Yeah, right. <laughs> I agree. Also, he's lost another one, so he's down to 10 players. Yep. Like, Morg was his 11th. So, 
I think, yeah, probably going in at nil nil <laughs> with Morgue is better. Because <laughs> it will help you control like the sneaky git next next drive as well. But obviously you can't know. He has to score here, doesn't he? I don't think there's any. Yeah, he's got zero other choice. Oh, look at that. The toxic showboat in glory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Double speed is brilliant. I'm so so glad. So glad that we've got the double speed. You could have done that on all the bash mirrors. <laughs> yeah, bash mirrors is perfect. Because even that running speed into the end zone then wasn't that, wasn't that slow. No. It wasn't that quick, as it were. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is totally followable. Like it's just—I mean, the other things you could pause, which is fine, right? You can still—that's probably better than, you know, like going faster and pausing is probably better than going a little yeah. bit slower consistently, anyway. So, yeah, yeah, fantastic discovery, <laughs> <laughs> forced upon us by the fucking horror of a dwarf mirror. Dwarf, on dwarf yeah. <laughs> What's that runner's skills? He's got block and what? What's that? Is that leader? leader? Yeah, leader, because right. it's like the Roman thing, isn't it? So that's leader. Yeah. And then the other one, it could be anything. He could have randomed a passing skill, right? Because um, a lot of them random things with it being, like the the team's being set for the playoffs. A lot of people just took random yeah, skills. Yeah, it makes sense. So it, it actually could be anything. It could be pass. I think there's a there's a dice there. The dice ones are, are, are things that involve re-rolls. I think there's a dice there, but it's hard to tell. So it could just be pass. Which would be kind of reasonable, I guess. Could be on the ball, couldn't it? Could be on the ball. On the ball's a passing skill. Mm, I don't know. What's on the ball? Kick off, return, and show hands? Uh, kick, uh, kick off, return, and pass block. Pass block, yeah, that's it. Mm. Oh wow, the quick snap for the two turn. I don't really like the uh, the rule of five kind of setup here to stop a two turn, but I guess it is stopping a dwarf two turn. But uh, I don't know. And the dwarves are even better to, to to go wide against, right? Because then they can't get past. Touchback is not the way. Yeah, touchback and a quick snap. Jesus. And dodge might might actually come into play. Um, if you can only get hit by the runner. <laughs> the blitzer. Yeah, I mean they were they were never new, Lord. Like all the people who were playing Blood Bowl Three were always gonna you know, it's just gonna be a passing thing for them, right? The the bigger the bigger streamers. Unless the game's good, but hey. It was it was never gonna be that good. <laughs> Like it's blood ball, right? It was even if it had been perfect for us, it was still never going to become like a a main game for stripping or credit. Yeah, or it's, it is super niche, right? Yeah. I mean that's that's the sad reality of it. Even if it was actually a good game, it was still never going to be amazing or anything. Um, it, like it was never going to be like an amazing commercial success. But it could have been a lot better than what it is. <laughs> yeah, J5, the du double speed is pretty great, isn't it? And the, even the animation speeds are okay. Like, they're really... I mean, okay, they are fast, but... They're, but they're not okay. like... It doesn't feel like they're two times fast, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> They're less jumpy around than the Pro Elves, aren't they, from Blood Bowl 2? <laughs> the Stretch Elves, like the idle animation, is totally fine on double speed. Whereas on the Stretch Elves on Blood Bowl 2, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gone triple down that way. He's going to use his re. Wait, he did use a reroll. It was just so fast. We didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did use a reroll. 
<laughs> Who knows? It's really hard to tell when a reroll is used, right? And that, that was a great thing about Blood Bowl 2, wasn't it? It was the replay thing, when, like the, the cracked screen and the replay animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rewind, the rewind, and make it look like a replay and stuff was a fucking brilliant idea, really. Super obvious. Hmm. This is fucked, isn't it? Basically, yeah. We're, we're looking, looking at, at four, four. After you blitz the guy out of the way, you've got what? Four, 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 three. Yeah. Is that right? Um. Oh well, he didn't. He didn't power him. So <laughs> five, mind. five, four, three. <laughs> It didn't matter which one he blitzed did it and I guess it was easier to hit this one yeah yeah I, it didn't it didn't matter at all actually I could have hit. probably gonna prioritize the file which makes sense yep. to play. this file's been a bit poo hasn't it it has yeah oh why <laughs> you got further than I thought you would I mean apart from killing Morg yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah true was that a foul was that a foul yeah yeah it was yeah, a, foul, it was a six, six assist foul yeah so yeah, apart from killing the More, best player yeah. and a quarter of the team, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did take it did take him like six turns though, to be fair. It did, it did. But yeah, you know, in 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 his last game, in Andre's last game, that runner like just demolished the whole team by himself, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and he's done the same here because Morg is is you know pretty much a one man team. But but even yeah. now, it's not that. They're not. They're not that far away. The teams are they? Like you know, he's still got like what five guard. He's still got a couple of mighty blow. Like he's got chances. Um, Hiru, like obviously he's quite far behind, but he's one nil up. So yeah, if you could somehow make some dodgy plays and stop the score. Yeah. If the sneaky gets gets sent off for a stun immediately, <laughs> 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 and uh, and yeah, get some good dice. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> oh, I was so sad with how sad it's been. I know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've already gone through that, that period yeah, of sadness. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But uh, I was I was somehow more sad seeing Elliot being that sad. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? I don't know why. Mm. It's, it's, I mean, it is a shame. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, yeah, it is a shame. So, I mean, it's a lot more shame for the likes of you know yourself and Elliot as well. It's a shame for everyone, as it were. But like, when you're generating content and you've got a community built around it, to it do not the best is is frustrating. Yeah, it's really sad. Like seven seven years I've been doing this, you know, and it's like oh man, oh man, and it's over, and it's pretty sad. <laughs> it is quite sad. But maybe you know, maybe after a while, you know, after a lot more teams are in and they've. They've spent a lot of time on it, you know. It might come back. Mm, I doubt it. Yeah, me too. But you know, there's always hope. <laughs> yes. As long as you, as long as you ignore all of the evidence to the contrary, <laughs> <laughs> the mountains of evidence, every action sign I'd have ever taken in the history of their company. <laughs> if you ignore all of that, <laughs> there's hope. There's hope. <laughs> <laughs> This is really nice, isn't it? Maximising all the blocks here. Lovely. And maximising the massive gang foul. Great Blood Bowl 3 play, really, isn't it? You know, because you just wouldn't be interested in this. Lesionado! You wouldn't really be uh, interested in this in this foul in Blood Bowl 2. He's off. He's but off. he's done his job. Yeah. Andrew's holding his head as if it's a disaster when he's It's not a disaster at all, yeah. my God. Yeah, it's basically he's just one, like it's Well I guess he has left a path through to the ball though. Gaping hool. A gaping hool, yeah. Four. The speed. Agility. <laughs> yeah, look at this threat. <laughs> These movement <laughs> four players. <Whoa. laughs> you just got a base up and hope you take up some actions here, right? Yeah. Yeah, but some GFIs. You know, this is this is part one of your reroll spunking. So yeah, I, I don't like the way yeah. he's done this at all. I, I wanted 
Oh, no. This guy, these two, even this guy could have gone. I'll pause it. Yeah. I'll pause it. Even this guy could have like gone one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Right? He, he could have got all the way around yeah. there. This this he was the turn to put some rerolls in for sure. Yeah, yeah. This this is like part one of a two turn or three turn push to win the game. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, hasn't done that. No. <laughs> so it's it's now part one of a seven part turn. <laughs> part of losing the game. <laughs> but he's not gonna get sneaky get fouled, so that's that's nice for him. You watch he'll just get removed anyway no? yeah, oh, Maybe there's really still removed. some there's still some mighty blow. But he's still there's still a bit of threat here, like this isn't A little bit, but it could have been better, right, is what we were saying. Yeah, yeah. Not hit on the ball. Oh, there's a there's a dodge for a two D. Yeah. Interesting. I think um, if you're a hero, you just you just take take chances like that. Oh, you got to. Oh no, so he ne he needed the. Oh no, he just needed the push, didn't he? I thought he should have assisted with this guy. He could have come around, could have come around the side and assisted. But I guess, yeah, even if he, he could push to the outside, so it's fine. So one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So you can get the guard, stand firm. On yeah, the ball. ball is based. And he can, him coming through there is much better. Yeah, yeah, this is actually... This is way better. Oh, he, Ooh, he's... Out. Oh, I don't like blocking with that runner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wanted a double GFI too, nice. Yeah, I wanted to hit the ball as well, but... Is already passing already blitz? No, I don't think so. So I think this guy's gonna like blitz him and then come up here or something. This guy, oh, so he's blitz splitting now. I don't know. I think this like I can understand it, right? Because dwarves are slow, and by keeping everything in front of you, you're not. You're not like giving him an easy yeah, way out. Potato off. Yeah. So I can I can see that and like you know and the potato off is how and is how Hiru scored in the first half. But I just think the situation's pretty desperate with with nine versus ten. And a worse team, so I think You know, I assess the equity maybe worse for Hiru than Hiru assesses the equity worse for him. But if if your assessment of the equity is such that you know that you think you're not that far behind, then this is this is the right line of play, isn't it? So yeah, but he's far behind. Possibly. But I do think he has misassessed it. Just my opinion. Maybe he can't see the pitch very well with his logo in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obscuring his view, unfortunately. <laughs> but, but I mean, that's just my opinion, right? You know, so like it's it's. It's hard to say, isn't it? Do you know, like it's it's it is mm -hmm. interesting, isn't it? Like that is a, that's kind of a big part of the game is 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 the assessment of of your chances because that dictates what you should. Yeah, do. it's it's less the t like the actual terms themselves, but more like how the person viewing the turn sees the turn. You know what I mean? We could say, oh, this is a terrible play, but if we saw it how he saw it, it could have been you know the correct one. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Super interesting. Super interesting. It, it kind of is. <laughs> it's a shame that that's become a, a complete meme now. <laughs> but it's one of the things that's interesting about it, I think. Like, obviously, and interesting is about as good as it gets for Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's never really going to be exciting or <laughs> dramatic or anything. <laughs> I guess there's some good dice rolls sometimes, isn't there? When people like that, yeah, that lizard man big, touchdown. Big high, that high, high level dice rolls are fun. Mm. Like a five six for the game, was that? Mm. The the what the one from the uh, the one from what, what what was it? I think it was the uh, GG Tour tournament where there was the lizard man that blitz powed, picked up in a tackle zone, dodged out double GFI. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious, <laughs> a hero. Good. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> was that versus Chirgan? <laughs> was it? Was it versus Chirgan? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, oh, it was awesome though. <laughs> <good>. <laughs> My 
heart is still bleeding. <laughs> oh dear. It's a shame Shurgan wasn't at uh, UKTC. He's a top lad. He's, he's a good lad. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's sad, isn't it? Sad that Kalon wasn't there. Sad that Rick wasn't there. Yeah. Kalon doesn't get to, to, to loads away, does he, sadly? But mm. understandable. Yep. I checked on the old Kalon, see how he was doing the other day. He's all right, he's saying. Yeah. Yeah, I did too. You know, if 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 Kalon hasn't talked for five minutes, it's, you've got to send out search parties, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like if you ever get in a word in Edgeways uh, with PC, you're like, oh, are, you, are you okay, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Check for all the signs of stroke or something. <laughs> Also, like to be fair, like this is the the slow death that Hiru is decided upon. Um, yeah, it, it could pay off. Like it could pay off because, like you know, it's still keeping his hopes alive, isn't it? You know, so he might still be thinking he's got this. Um, it's turn twelve, and well, there's only four turns left for Andre. It'll be his turn thirteen next, and he, you know, he's deep in his own half. So, like, it, it's worked to an extent, hasn't it? it has worked to an extent, but with um, I think with. With I think he's going to make a push through with, with out too much of an issue, if I'm honest. But we'll we'll see how the proceeding turns go. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm with I'm with I'm with you on this, but you can you know, it's it's not really devil's advocate, is it? It's uh, it's Spanish. You see both sides, hundred percent. Yeah. You see both sides. It's... Yeah. And who knows? We could both be wrong, and maybe this was the best, but best way to defend. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't feel like we're wrong after that. We'll see. No. Oh, the sick, the sick five plus I mean, that helps, doesn't it? It does. It does. It um, makes the room he's going to move into less secure. Ooh, I wonder if that was worth eating a eating a eating an action to just stand him up there. Uh, yeah, yeah pro probably just stand up for me, I think. Mm. Just looking at it, because having the two free and the good pieces as well. Yeah, because losing him almost doesn't matter, right, with three turns no. left. And and obviously it's resurrection, so so getting cast out wouldn't matter for, for Chalice Equity. Um, and if you 1-0 up, so if you stop him, you win. Like, it's not as if it was nil-nil and you had to stop him and then win in overtime. In that case, I think dodging him out would probably be correct. Um, in a way, right? Because, in a way. Because <laughs> you'll need him to win overtime. Well, not correct. More chance of being correct. <laughs> Still wouldn't think it was correct. But I think it was. It would be better if there were more. But there's not really any, any cost in losing him, is there? As it were. Oh! Doesn't re-roll it. Uh, are you going to try and hit the ball this turn? I think I'd be tempted if I can get some dwarfs moved. I might take a couple of two pluses here and there to try and free it. Well, there's only one two plus. I don't know who makes it two die, to be fair. So, yeah, but he is, it looks like he is going for the ball here, doesn't it? But he's stand firm, yeah, so he yeah. needs a pal. Oof. I'm not sure I'd... Oh, shit, would I? Oh, that's shit, isn't it? He's still got the four plus. Uh, I'd be tempted to uh, stand up that player at the back and just get on with it. Oh, I think I think he's just gonna blitz. Oh he's just coming it with the uh right okay yeah nice yeah. I, oh, I, wait, I think he's doing it for the two die wow yeah okay Jesus oh it doesn't use another reroll oh. why wouldn't you use the reroll yeah if you you've got there you've got your two D on the ball with tackle why don't you use your second reroll oh man because even if you can only clear one of the players the three plus off isn't scary yeah, you've got to reroll that. Like, I think you yeah, have yeah. to reroll that. You've committed a reroll to get there. <laughs> That's like prime blood ball three territory, isn't it? You know, like that. That is that is one of the times where multiple rerolls in the turn is just you know get the play done. Yeah, I think he had to reroll that. Had to, yeah, hundred percent had to reroll. Well, not hundred percent, ninety five. Yeah, once you go for the play, like you could have just not gone for the play, right? You could have just blitzed this stand firm guy and stood in front. 
Yeah. And then, but I think you know if you if you've decided you're dodging him around for the assist, and gets the power. Yeah. That'll be the score now. Yeah. Yeah. It was on Hero this. Yeah. It was his last reroll, but you know if you've if you've got to get it done, you've got to get it done, haven't you? Yeah, last one or not? It's it's the the turn time is close enough to to it's it it being worth it, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was huge. And now his own guy's been removed. And <laughs> I mean, there are some stand firms in the way. Oh wow, a stun. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> It's, yeah, now it's looking real grim. Just the four plus for the six. That's really pants. You had to reroll that, man. I don't get. Maybe he forgot. I don't know. Yeah, may maybe he forgot about Blood Bowl three because, like, obviously it hasn't been around that long, and people haven't played no. that much. And I don't know, like, obviously they've played a lot when you think of how much they've played in a month. <laughs> but they haven't played. A mu they haven't played much in terms of they've played thousands and thousands and thousands of hours in Blood Bowl two. So like, there's a bit of a an adjustment uh, period, right? Yeah. Are we going to do blitz and stand on the ball? Is that the plan? I'm not sure. That's probably as much as he can do. Yeah. Pretend he's got Juggernaut. Surf this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Would be pretty good, wouldn't it? But at least it gave him a good chance to knock down with Frenzy. Which he gets and a stun. Interesting. Super interesting. He's just going to run him back as cover. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it's too easy to clear. Or in for the, for the 2D. If, if he moves him in, he's screening and he gets a 2D, right? You can move him there and yeah. he gets this hit. And come back as cover. No, knock down is pretty sad there. And also, Andre's just got to fling the player forward next to him. It's his turn seven, right? Yep. Ooh, nice dodge. Lovely. Yeah, Had to do it. Yep. It was the correct play. <laughs> correct. And this is pretty hard to get ahead of the ball now, isn't it, for uh, Andre? He's got a potato. He's got a dodge on, is or has he got has he got GFIs on to one two three? No, has he got GFIs on to one Yeah, this guy can dodge off and one two three four dodge off double GFI to tag like at the end of the turn. Or maybe he's oh he could no he can't chain him. He's got stand firm. He could hit. Uh, okay. And stand firm is super annoying, isn't it? With like stopping any any chaining shenanigans like so many times I'm watching a dwarf game and I'm like oh we could do a nice chain here so I don't know everyone's got stand firm <laughs> everyone's got stand firm well so do you do the 4 plus for the 2D with tackle oh ah, that's hard yeah, I think you've got to you've got to hit it with tackle. It's just so unlikely, right? Yeah, I think so. Especially with him having like the edge three dodger as backup as well. So I think like whack in, whack him in there maybe, and then dodge and hit there. I oh, know, but then you'd need four, wouldn't you? You'd need a GFI. So I guess you've got to put the assist in here maybe. And then hit from there and push him in. Mm. That's pretty. That's pretty decent. And just hope you're fine. And now you're using your last three roll on a four plus to get the hit instead of the fifty-five to knock him down. Yeah. But I think you. Uh, and now you maybe even keep your re-roll for overtime. That's a hard call, even whether you re-roll it, isn't it? If you re-roll the dodge, I mean, you'd obviously re-roll the hit, but do you even re-roll the dodge? Yeah, maybe you don't re-roll the dodge, actually, and you just re-roll the hit. I'd be so tempted, though, because I, I feel like it's going one way, as it were. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, three cars in a KO, I, that, that's why I would have gone in earlier, basically. Sold, sold out earlier, if you like. 
He's made the dodge. Here we go. Oh, baby. He, he makes the GFI for the better angle. Four. Oh, I had to. Oh. Flip me. Should have stood this guy up first. Yeah. Do the four plus dodge off. Yeah. Use your reroll. Yes, he does use the last reroll. Wow. And for a penny and for a pound. Yeah, I like that. Stand here or just tag the ball. Maybe just tag the ball back. So there's two options, isn't there? You could tag the ball on the back side, or you can uh, put another guy in or at the side. I think I like tagging the ball back left, if one is. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, he's got another four plus there. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I quite like just tagging the ball from there. I think. But I mean, this is uh, this is pretty good for Hiru. I think. Uh, Maybe that guy, instead of the back left, he put him uh, obviously the front left. Could have could have left a space and been to the left one maybe for a slightly yeah. better position. Yeah, lots of players. Like there's actually lots of players, isn't there? There's yeah, this one, yeah. this one, this one, this one. All have merit. There's five squares he could stand in that all do something. Lack of unfortunate lack of stand firm for uh, Hiru here. Um, Don't really see what the play is from Andre. Yeah, I'm not sure. Didn't we? Couldn't we have happily put four, three dodges? Makes them all. Right. Okay. So now, I mean, having that extra guy would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Pretty good. Doesn't make the dodge. Does make the dodge. Fails. Mm -hmm. No, makes the pick up. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the sure hands animation is terrible because yeah. they always show them failing at first. Here we go. Five plus pass. Oh, the pass block! Because it was on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he rolls a six anyway. Oh, oh my six. God. Oh, my God. God. Look at dog. I unlucky for Hero there, I think. Yeah, that was super unlucky. Super unlucky. Oh man. Oh, a super interesting turn. Yeah, that was really cool, wasn't it? That was actually really cool. We could have even gone down to one one speed there to to, to show that last turn. I didn't think of it Save until her. just now. Hello, Lupak. Oh, Carl Ancelotti. Oh, Ducky. It's Timmy just attaching random animations to his emails now. <laughs> it sure seems that way, yeah. That's so thin. <laughs> Is Andrew the Spanish Rick? I, I don't no. know, Mordred. In Who's what in the regard? Spanish Rick? In, in what regard? I think he's on about Rick Dice, isn't he? Ah, uh, yes, Rick Dice. Because Hiru's got long hair and a beard. Andrew's <laughs> yeah. somewhat lacking in the follicle department. <laughs> you know, who knows? Who knows if any of them are serial killers? <laughs> <laughs> or if, uh, you know, what else? Wait, was there a riot here? Uh, I can't remember what the kickoff was. It sure looks like it because now it's turn fifteen. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Oh wow. I, I always spend like ten minutes trying to find where the turn timers are. I'm just <laughs> not used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those things where it's just like, um, it's just, it's just you'll get used to it, isn't it? Like I think that's one of the things that isn't bad. And like lots of people are like, oh, you're just moaning because you're not used to it. And it's like, well, some of the things you will not. You know, you're not used to, and you will get used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that is one that the turn, but some things are just definitely shit. Um, yes, Lupac. Streaming by one person is enforced to be uh, to be. You just lose and stuff if you don't stream it. Basically, <laughs> that's that's how the that's how the Blood Bowl Three Chalice works. <laughs> so yeah, this is a procedimiento illegal restream. There you go. <laughs> what was it illegal procedure? Yes, yes. 
Wasn't that a thing in previous editions of Blood Bowl, I'm not sure. It was, yes, in the 1994 rule book. It was in there, and not, nobody ever used it at tournaments, which I hated because I loved the rule. I thought it was a brilliant rule to make sure both players tracked the game state. Um, but people didn't like it because of knobheads who like it, abused it versus new players. Scott. Which, you know, that's not the knobheads you should hate, not the uh, legal procedure. <laughs> I just hate everyone equally, I think, Jim. <laughs> Way. <laughs> Is this on one and a half speed? No, I just hung around some double speed. <laughs> double speed, and it's about right. Yeah, fucking dwarf mirrors. <laughs> but even if it wasn't a dwarf mirror, I think one and a half is, a, is at least good. Like, you know, even for yeah, elves, one yeah. and a half speed will be good. So Hiru loses the coin toss, and yeah, he's... He's been a little bit dice, hasn't he, at the end here? Yeah, yeah I th Andre getting the score was sad. Yeah. I think Hero, Hero did well to, to stop him from getting a decent chance. Yeah, yeah, really really well. You know, so like his 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 non aggressive play nearly worked out in the end, didn't it? You know, mm. like he, he had those he ha he did have the chances, a very good chance to stop the score in the end. And uh Yeah, f funny that despite losing Morg as well. Politely remind your opponent to move the turn counter. Ugh. A little bit diced. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, he's been. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like, it, I don't know. I think. But I would say diced would be like, you know, if the dice just being Kaz and stuff, right? Like, at the end of mm -hmm. the day, that was. It was a lucky score, but it, it's hard to say. It was, like, it wasn't really a dicing, right? It was just. It was just a sequence. A very lucky sequence. Uses last reroll on that. This, wow. Oh, I wouldn't have used my last reroll. No, I, I wouldn't think. have either. No. But I suppose he's got um, a solid enough line that Hiru can't really break through. So I think he's not losing lows, to be fair, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't have rerolled that. Like, there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't like a glaring error that. You know, like, oh my god, what an idiot! If he, you know, if he, <laughs> he's got to re-roll it because he left a gaping hole, he, like, he was mm -hmm. pretty much covered. He, I think he should have, uh, he should have maybe he's even gone for the pickup first, right? Because it was so secure, and like knowing that you've only got yeah, one yeah. re-roll to try and hold on to it. I, I wouldn't have, but who can say? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> who can say if it's good or bad? Four. Oh, Armor break. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's not been a lot, has there, from blocks? No, there hasn't. No, um, it wasn't. It wasn't a bug, Jerry. It wasn't. So well, it was a bug. It was a bug, but it just randomly happened rather than it happened every time. <laughs> the the resetting of rerolls. I I had I had played one and seen two overtimes before that happened that didn't reset. Then I saw the time that they reset, and then I've seen two that didn't reset afterwards. So it was just a random occurrence for whatever reason. <laughs> Is this still golden? Golden goal? It is not golden goal, it is a full half of Blood Bowl. Full half, not two halves, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just a full half, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, elves before would just would just get in range and two turns. Slap it in, yeah. So it, that, that does favour the bash teams a little bit. Um, for sure, it's got to favour the. Yeah, imagine if it's just a whole new game. Super interesting. Super. <laughs> As a double skull, and I mean that's why I wouldn't have re-rolled because, and an, any double skull later could be crippling, couldn't it? Like this one yep. wasn't really, but that was actually a totally fine double skull. I thought, and he had the time; he didn't have the the fifteen second chunk, you know, the nightmare that you have in Blood Bowl Two, where you've only got fifteen seconds to decide whether to re-roll a game deciding play or not. He could have just used up his two minutes in his time bank and thought for ages about it, couldn't he? Which I think is brilliant. Like I, I do think the time, the time system in Blood Bowl Three is way better. But again, it's not like it's not as if Blood Bowl Two is some amazing, shining standard of gameplay that we should aspire to, is it? It's just, it's just what we had, and it wasn't very good. They've <laughs> just somehow lowered the bar. <laughs>
But I guess it's okay to say one thing Blood Bowl 3 does right. And it's... It's the time bank. and turn Shame about bank. everything else. Yeah, yeah. And there's <clears> the, <throat> uh, the... The... What's it called? The injury cutscene. Are you really nice? Oh, yeah, that's good, yeah. Right <laughs> there! <laughs> And uh, Lesionado. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wish I wish I wish I could just change it so those cutscenes were in Spanish and nothing else was. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. I'd do that for the show. <laughs> if I ever bought the game. <laughs> if you not even got the game. No, 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 God no. Wow. Well done, well done, Hunter. <laughs> you are my idol. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it from like a sort of a moral standpoint. It sounds really stupid. But... Oh, that's fair enough. Ooh, that's fair enough. Up, up. Was that by accident, or is he is he searching for a play, or I'd pass? <laughs> <laughs> a lack of powers both sides here. Yeah, it's been a lot of um, both downs and dub skulls. I mean, I guess there's less pals in general, right, in dwarf games because they're yeah, all 55s yeah. and they're, they're never Gee, 75s. Again, oh my god, but yeah, I mean, they have. Again. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, the block dice have been shit. <laughs> I don't think I, I'd have shown that one day then. No, no, I don't think so. But then. No, I mean, I, well, I know I wouldn't have, but I guess, you know, it, it, again, it's like, you know. Searching for that edge, maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, if you think you need it, it's right to go for it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Got the game for free and I still feel ripped off, yeah. Yeah, it's uh like it's not it's not the cost of the game, is it? It's not the cost in in money, it's the cost in uh time and everything as well and effort and it sure doesn't seem worth <laughs> any of those. <laughs> any of the above. <laughs> I wish it was good enough to be upset about, you know, the lack of redraft, the uh, all the bugs, yeah, the, crashes, yeah. the soft locks, all that, but I don't care about the millions of problems with it because it's not enjoyable to look at or play. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Sorry, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose one good thing to come of it is, like, I now enjoy tabletop quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, lots of good things have come from the uh, from the time that we've had. Oh, yeah, 100%, Bowl man. Oh, my God. I, I don't know where I'd be in life if I hadn't discovered Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> I'd be a lot less enriched, that's for sure. There you go. So, that's pretty nice. Yeah. I'd never have met Dimmy. Yeah, there you go. God, I wish I'd never started playing Blood Bowl 2. <laughs> <laughs> Banter. <laughs> <laughs> you would have never heard the Dimmy Fimeer impression. <laughs> He's there, oh, oh, Dimmy. <laughs> shout with a slight accent. <laughs> He's just shouting at the top of his voice in this pub. <laughs> Everyone else hated us. The fucking, yeah, for sure. It was 100% the correct play finding that port, though. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> oh, my God. This sort of looks like... Your ass! Your ass! It's looking, what, it's what, looking what, pretty what, good what? for Andre. <laughs> pretty this good. feels like a fallout of that 1D as well. Mm, doesn't it? But then, uh, yeah, I guess you're also like you, you haven't, he can't knock you down on a 50%. So, like, you know, the chances are you remain standing and it wasn't easy for him to get a yeah, system true, knock you down true. and stuff. So, I guess if you were a blockless guy, doing the 1D is better in a way, right? Than, than doing it with the block. That sounds stupid. It sounds stupid, <laughs> doesn't it? But, but do you know what I mean? Like, if, if he was blockless, you'd be looking at a 33% knockdown if you make the block. But if you don't make the block, then you're 50% or 75% knocked down. So, like, you know, you could, in many ways, I could understand the 1DB more than the, more, like, with, with, without block than the 1D with block, to be honest. 
yeah, because yeah, you don't really have much chance of a good outcome, do you, with the one D? No. Did he have stand firm? I mean, if he had stand firm, the no, one D was terrible. Actually. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird little play that. But I think I would have just trusted in block to defend myself. And... But yet, you know, maybe Hiru saw something um, and thought, you know, anticipated a play from Andre that made it worth it. Who knows? Not necessarily shit and wrong, but it sure seemed a bit shit and wrong. This is a good turn, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice turn. Stamp in my balls, nice. Mm. Supported. It's hard to get a, a return to do. I oh, really nice. Well, it's not. It's not super hard. Actually, no. like, I thought that, but his, his back right cage is marked by guard. But it's nice, just roughly. Yeah, yeah, that would have been better, wouldn't it? But yeah, really nice. If he gets the power here, he doesn't. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Doesn't again. Super interesting. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> again, no knockdown. <laughs> <laughs> These dice for both people's buck dice have been pretty terrible. We should have a look at the uh, dice log at the end of the match and see what, what the totals were. Mm. Oh, no, oh, there one. <laughs> so even if he does get the three plus away, it's a little bit sketchy, isn't it? Oh, shit. Get shit on! Get <laughs> shit on! Fuck you! Two deed him. I mean, it was too risky, wasn't it, I guess, to, to one in three? Mm. Is what he thought, but... Because I guess... Hmm. Oh yeah, no re-roll. He's used his re-roll. Yeah, no re-roll, no dodge. Maybe he could have tried something to get something downfield. Because even if he dodges, like he could easily get one deed. Do you, um, do you blitz the guy in front of the ball carrier here to get the 2D with tackle? Yeah. Mm, I know, less likely because you've got that guy. That, the dodge guy's got stamp for him. Yeah, it's tricky, right? So we can pause it. We can pause it. Um, Technology. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? So yeah, you, you've got to power him though, right? Because it's stand firm. But you could blitz him and then two D him for a push, and then and then get the other guard in for two uh, D on the ball. So I think mm. that's the play. But it does require powering this guy first. Um, you could even blitz with this guy. This guy could blitz him, and then if he pals, one, two, no, he can't do it. <laughs> he can't. He's too slow. So the runner would blitz, and then go. Even the the runner could maybe go there, uh, go here afterwards. Yeah. So the the runner could. No, because it could be a push. So the runner blitzes and then goes somewhere. <laughs> he blocks <laughs> him for a push, and then he comes in, and then you two do the ball. Yeah, that's got to be the play. God, I think. What if it the half finishes? Is it kicks again? Uh, yes, it's kicks, but the re I mean, the neither side have got rerolls left. But rerolls are not a factor. Yeah, it just it's just like a. Oh, roll. so even if you had rerolls, it would it's just literally random who wins. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so he's gone for. Oh, that's oh, frenzy. I don't know about that. So he's gone for the two D without tackle. Ooh. Yeah, but that guy was frenzy, so actually I can see I can see going for that one first. I don't, oh, no, it's just again. a single skill. Just another one day, man. I, I, I don't think you can make that one day at all. Like, Not there. The other it's one doing day. too much work. Yeah, that's that's actually that's actually a really good one to hold. Yeah, yeah that, that one day I think we can definitely say was wrong. The other one, maybe there was some kind of you know upside. But that one it's going to be touch and go again it is touch and go yeah there's only two turns left for Andre it's like watching paint dry in the rain <laughs> wow yeah this is get this down on the blitz he's got a pretty nice Part of the pitch to sell into. Yeah, this is a nice potato, isn't it? Really nice. Really oh, nice. <laughs> and thanks to that one D, he's got a guy. 
Yeah. It didn't have to roll a three plus. And the, but then there was only a five or a six that would stop him making the three plus. Like that's the thing, right? That's why it's just not. If he was blockless, then then you've fifty percent to stop him making the thirty three, the the sixty six. That makes sense, doesn't it? But yeah. Well, thank God for double speed. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this was <laughs> this was great, wasn't it? It's was perfect on double speed. Yeah, it re it really was because and then and then a, p a pause if there's anything interesting. Yeah. That what we we blitz and stand and praying. I guess so. There's not a lot to be done, is there? Was he is he going for the five four? No, I don't think. No, but stand. Yeah, he's, he's failed. Yeah, there we go. That was a game of blood ball. <laughs> it was a game of blood ball. Andre, very lucky to uh, take it to overtime, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, super lucky score. And uh, great, great defensive play against the odds from Hero, wasn't it? You know, we, we yeah, we he played well. We both disagreed with his uh, with his strategy on defense, but it did nearly pay off. Like he, he got it did really pay off. Vast majority of the time, it paid off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he got he got to he got to a really good spot, and then uh, yeah, just all the dice in the world from Andrew. Even the pass block as well. Uh, well, not pass yeah. block. Was it on the ball <laughs> coming into play was incredible. Absolutely out of nowhere. I don't think anybody anybody remembered uh, the on the ball there. Maybe Hiru did. Maybe he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been surprised by having pass block on Eldril before. <laughs> so, but I, on the ball he could have taken right. He could have chosen on the ball as a skill because um, it's like it's pretty decent with having kickoff return on a on a move six carrier like dwarves. You know, PC used to take uh, what's it called kickoff return, and uh, you know, lots of people used to take kickoff return on on dwarf runners. So. What the hell are they moving one at a time for? What the hell? Well, he's that? taking a piss, obviously, because <laughs> he's fouling in a res match. So. <laughs> one at a time. Yeah, they're just having a chat about the match. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was it was funny, wasn't it? Um, on the ball, nearly, nearly getting there, and it was already five plus. Like it was already super unlikely. And then the on the ball made it a six plus. <laughs> Just gets it. Oh, it's disgusting. Outrageous. So yeah, Andre and Hiru having a little chuckle, talking about the match as the uh, as the clock winds down. This could be a genius move from Hiru here if uh, if the game crashes if you use up your time back. <laughs> <laughs> Could actually be masterful troll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just celebrate in the midst of everyone on the pitch. That's nice. I'd never realised how terrible that was until now. I've never really been watching, but um, yeah, they just celebrated in the middle of all the, of all the other dwarves. Um, yep, diabolical animation there from Cyanide. Shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, valiant effort by Hiru, but congratulations to Andre. Thank you very much, Hancock. Been glorious having you in the booth. You're welcome. I enjoyed watching the game at the uh, the perfect and intended speed. I think. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.